G'day guys, back for another big season of uh, 3SSR footy here. I'm John Donahoe, here with the president of uh, 3SSR, Peter Serros. Cruz, it's good to be back, isn't it? It's and footy is back again. I can't wait, I've been waiting for it forever. Now it kind of sucks this year for some reason. <laughs> it's not a competition it's not anymore, a competition that's, that's anymore. what makes it boring. Three, uh, two, two rounds of practice matches, 18 games yeah. in 18 days is what it was. Um, look, it was I, different, but I didn't like it. It was different, we, we got to see what we needed of the young players, and uh, look, it'll be... It's all over now, mate, because the real stuff starts Friday night. Mm -hmm. It's split round, round one, split round this week, and we'll kick it all. It'll start all over again at Eddie Head Stadium. Collingwood and Freo, how do you see this one going down? I generally think Fremantle are going to destroy Collingwood. Um, partially because I don't even see Collingwood making the eight. And that's not because I don't, I'm not a big Collingwood fan. Obviously, being a Richmond supporter, Collingwood's one of my most hated teams. But I just can't see them making the eight this year. Yeah. I, 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 I tip them about ninth. I agree in the sense, I think they'll make the eight just, but okay. I, I think they're going to fall away a bit. Mm -hmm. um, they've still got a good core of, of uh, senior players, though. Their midfield is probably shaping as one of the best in the competition at the moment with Beams, uh, Pendlebury um, and Co. running through there and a few good youngsters in um, uh, Taylor Adams and, and, and Co. as well, who they acquired from GWS. Look, I agree, though. Frio, are, they're going to be right back up there again. They're hurting. Ross Lyon doesn't... Uh, He's played in a couple of pre uh, flags now, hasn't won any. So a few good look, recruits as well. Few um, good Colin Silvia. Colin Silvia could That's be, a very good recruit. Could be, uh, could be a career resurrection here at uh, Kepler Bradley's uh, back. Kepler Bradley, yeah, he's all right. And, uh, great look, Scotty Gumbledon's got a fresh start as well at, um, yeah, at his new club. He's, uh, he's injured, um, and so it'll be interesting to see how uh, how they replace that. But from all reports, Matty Pavlich is ready, ready to go. Mm. Nat Fives can overcome his knee injury. They'll romp home in this one. I think this one could be 30-plus points in the end at Etihad Stadium. We move on to Saturday afternoon at, um, at Giants Stadium over in Western Sydney. Uh, the Battle of the Bridge, GWS Sydney. What's going to happen here? Is this going to be another uh, blowout, do you think? I can't, I can't see the, an upset coming up here. Uh, I, th I genuinely think Sydney are going to win. What do you think? Yeah, Buddy's, uh, Buddy's first game uh, as a, as a Swan. Game. First official, official game, game as a Swan. Uh, obviously, he played in the NAB uh, a few weeks ago. Didn't have, didn't have it all his own way. But uh, look, I think that they're, they're going to be far too strong. You never write Sydney off. They're not going to lose this one. Sydney will be right back up there this year. And again, they're in my top four. Mm, um, Sydney, Sydney. Th th there's only one philosophy at Sydney, and they only know how to do one thing, and that's win. Mm. They only know how to do one thing, and they'll they'll get the over the line easily in this one. Next one is your mob. Mm. Richmond, Richmond Gold Coast, Oregon. This is going to be an absolute belter. You've got a poor record against the Gold Coast. It's it's, it's two and one, and it's, it's at Metricon Stadium. I, I think we can win. Uh, I think there's a bit of heartbreak from last year's final, so I genuinely think that we're going to go out there firing. But no Marrick first round. Sean Hampson get to see what he can Great do new recruit. at Richmond. Um, what about the media band? At the same man? time, at the, yeah, he might not even play. Jackie Rewell. Oh, I, was talking, I thought you meant uh, King. No, 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 no. Jack Rewalt, oh, self-imposed media ban on himself. Well, um... I reckon he'll do all right. Yeah, he could be all right. Well, he, maybe, well, he's maybe, only played one practice game. Maybe he's not talking he's to the media. He's only played one practice wants, game. He obviously wants to focus on... And uh, apparently, apparently he's um, leaner than ever, which means he's a lot fitter than what he used to be. He's, he's, put, he's dropped a bit of... Uh, Body weight, so interesting to see. Well, it'll be interesting to see on uh, on Saturday night how that one goes. I, I'm tipping this is going to be a very close one, and I'm going for the upset. Mm -hmm. I think Gold Coast are going to win their uh, it's going to be a tight first contest. game this year. It's going to be a tight contest. And look, Gold Coast for me are going up. Uh, could be close to the eight. Don't think they'll sneak in just yet this year. I think they're mm -hmm. one more year away, but I reckon they'll be around uh, nine, ten, eleven. If not, if if not in the eight. They could just sneak in. You never they, know. They could. You but don't know what's going to For me, for me, they're a year away still. Um, they've got a great group of players. Ablett obviously is a superstar, but they got a lot of young players and mm. like young talent coming through. Watch out for Jack Martin in that one. Didn't have a great NAB Challenge series, but all reports are uh, he's going to be an absolute superstar. Mm. So keep an eye on him for the Gold Coast Sunday afternoon at Etihad Stadium. Uh, Carlton Port Adelaide. This could be an, a, another one as well. People are uh, not jumping on port as much as they were last year. They think uh, a lot of people have got them figured out now. I, I, I genuinely think port's going to to win. Only because, I don't know, I just can't see... Carlton shouldn't have made the eight last year. Port deserved it. So, just going back from what happened last year, port ended up higher. I know it doesn't mean anything this year, 
but I think Port are a little bit ahead of Carlton, and that's my only reason for tipping Port. I agree. I'm not sure where Carlton are at at the moment, to be honest. Judd's, got, Judd's getting old. He's there's missing a query, the first three, four games There's a query well. on Bryce Gibbs about whether he's going to leave as well. Mm. Um, I'm not sure... I'm not overly convinced by Carlton's performances in the NAB Challenge either. Um, look, Port... Port are going to get better and better, and you saw it. Look, they won their first well, final in years last year. They weren't they, expected to beat Collingwood. And how they many beat players them. were in their teens? Yeah, a they've lot. got plenty. And look, Ollie Wines has, has another preseason under his belt. They've got Jared Pollock from Brisbane, who Need? showed Need? who showed he's going to be uh, he's going to be a gun player. Jakey Needs uh, still light on frame, but he's going to be a talent as well. They got a couple other players, you know, Brad Ebert and um, a couple of Boak, obviously in the midfield, the skipper. They're going to be a force to be reckoned with again this year. They're going to go up. I think they'll probably sit, sit in that uh, same bracket six, seven, eight. But look, they're going to chat. They're going to play some really good footy this year. Well coached, well drilled, and uh, look, I think they could be a, another good team again this year. Now, as we said, there was a split round, so we're also going to be giving our tips for next week's games. Uh, the first is Thursday night, uh, Geelong versus Adelaide. Yeah, what do we make of this one? I've heard, look, reports Adelaide are going to be. Uh, yeah, they've had a good pre-season, brought in Eddie Betts, James Podley, Podsy Adley to fill that role left by uh, oh, no. Kurt Tippett and Taylor Walker is obviously still out. So, But when Taylor Walker comes back, James Podsy Adley and Taylor Walker are going to be a very good It's going to be a very good forward line. And uh, look, Eddie Betts showed in the, the first couple of NAB Challenge matches that he can uh, he, he's re-found a bit of form. Mm. So look, this could be a cracker. I'm tipping the Cats just because their record at Skilled Stadium. I'm at tipping Simmons the Cats Stadium. the Cats. It's the Cats as I mean, well. Obviously, look. Every, every, for the last three years, people have been tipping them to fall off, and they have not at all. They've managed to recruit players during their premiership years and their top four final years, and it doesn't look like you know they're going to drop off at all. As soon as one player retires, two or three come in to take their place that are just as good. No, you're not wrong. Look, I'm, I'm and I'm excited to see a bit of young talent. Shane Kirsten mm. um, has been playing in the VFL the last few years. He's a great, great looking player uh, up forward. So I wonder if he'll come in. But uh, look, it'll be, I reckon it'll be close, but Geelong are too good down there in the, uh, at the Cattery. Uh, moving on next Friday night, North Melbourne, Essendon. I think it was last year, or maybe the year before, these two played off in a uh, After the Siren thriller. Probably the year before, I think, when Hamish McIntosh kicked the winning goal. It's going to be interesting, because yeah. a lot of people have tipped North to make the eight, but at the same time, Essendon, obviously, after last year, are going to be a bit, a bit disappointed they didn't make the eight. Well, and we know Essendon, for the past two seasons, very good starts at the start of the year. Their first half of the year, they look like genuine top four contenders, they do drop off at the end. Are they going to do it again this year? Well, who knows? Look, I'm over all this Essendon drug saga business. Look, they'd be they'd be over it as well. It's coming into season 2014, a renewed, a renewed energy, a great coach at Mark Thompson. Paul Chapman. Paul Chapman's come in. You know, they've got a great great recruiting base there. Now, I don't see them winning this. And in all, in all seriousness, I think North are going to finish in the top four and well cement. They will be well cemented in the top four for mine. Okay. I just, I just think that their midfield, their talent's too good. They brought in Luke McDonald and Nick Del Sano to bolster their midfield. Sean Atley's going to have a huge year. Brent Harvey gets better with age, like a fine wine. Liam Anthony's, um, he's back from injury. Yeah, absolutely. And Jack, oh, and Jack Zebel and uh, and Andrew Swallow are just playing some uh, career best footy. So, mm. look for me, they tick every single box. Probably not premiership contenders just yet, but building in the next two to three years, they could be right up there. And I'm. I'm backing them in to finish top four this year because there uh, there's too much talent there, if, and it'll be a failed year if they don't. Definitely. After last year's debacle, uh, Saturday afternoon the premiers just come off a 160 point win against this mob <laughs> in the NAB Challenge, so I think it might go the no, same way. No, no, no. Brisbane, 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 <laughs> Brisbane no. could have a could have a poor year again this uh, year. Uh, New coach again, obviously they've gone with the with the uh, the, the favourite son in uh, Justin Lepish. And they've dropped Justin dropped. Lepish. I mean, a lot of players have. Ditched. Yeah, a lot yeah. of players have ditched. Well, that was Luke the, McGuan's a good recruiter. That was the story of the off season. Obviously, about seven players mm. wanted out, and you know they were nominating clubs, and well, they some lost people two weren't, draft picks. Some people much. weren't happy. Exactly. Two whole draft picks they lost. You know they lost Elliot Yo and uh, a couple other. No, not Pollock. Elliot Yo. Sorry, Elliot Yo played for West Coast, but Pollock, yeah, left, um, and a couple others as well. But look, they'll they'll have to um, they'll have to work out mm. how how their structures are going to work out from here on. But look. Fourth one are unstoppable. They've got Ben McAvoy in there to bolster their ruck stocks now. Ruffy's going to go forward with Jack Gunson. They're going to be too strong. They're going to well, I reckon have Hale's a serious, gonna go forward a They're going to have a serious dip at back-to-back -back again. And look, they're, they're not going to be far off, I reckon. Uh, probably the game of next week, prime time, Saturday night, 6.40 to Kilda Melbourne. Shaping up as a little, you know, 
as a little uh, good ga- as a good game here. It's St Kilda, St Kilda have uh, been uh, brought it down a peg or two without uh, Lenny. No, there'll be no Lenny Hayes, no Jack Stephen, no Lee Montagna, Maverick Weller. Whether he was going to play or not isn't available either. So it's going to be down to the young brigade. David Armitage will be leading the midfield. And uh, look, I read something today. Apparently, Luke Dunstan will play, and he is a talent. So watch out for him, number thirty-six from St Kilda. I I'm, I'm, I apologise because, um, but I think Marvel's going to win. Yeah, no, no, no need to apologise, <laughs> mate. I, Look, think, I, I genuinely think, and I think, I, I think that's what all the reports are coming through now. Look, there, Paul Roos is the uh, the master coach, and we sh- they showed a bit against your mob in the uh, NAB they challenge. They, they, beat got, us. they got some good youngsters. Dom Tyson's come in, uh, Viv Mitchie and. Um, Bernie Vince from Adelaide. So look, they got they got some recruit. serious talent. Jesse Hogan, unfortunately, is out. He's going to be out with a back back injury for a few weeks, so his uh, his return will be delayed. But look, mm. it could be a tough one for St Kilda. Many tipping us to uh, to finish last. I don't agree with that. I think we'll fight a bit more. Probably not last, second last, third last. Who knows? Be, but I, I as the coaches as the coaches have said, it's a rebuilding year for the Saints. Mm. Rebuilding few years, um, and we got some young talent coming through, which I'm really uh, really happy with. And Jack Billings. Uh, to, uh, pick three in the uh, draft could be a star as well. So yeah. look, either way, it's going to be a good game. I think Melbourne might might just get us as well, but who knows? I would love to see some kill to win. It's a win win for me either way. Um, and the final game next Sunday, West Coast uh, are playing the Bulldogs at Patterson Stadium. I many, can't see West Coast losing it. Many tipping West Coast to uh, enter back into the eight this year. Got a good list. They got a good list. They had a good list last year, they so did. it was very surprising that they didn't make the. They eight. brought uh, Xavier Ellis in as well. Brand new coaching staff. Absolutely, Xavier Ellis has shown a bit in the uh, preseason. Dom Sheed, top ten pick. He's uh, he's supposed to be a star as well. Andrew Gaff's only going to improve. Andrew Gaff's getting better, and uh, look, they've got Dean Cox and Nick Nanui. Obviously, the, probably the two best ruck combination in the competition. So, well, both are all Australian ruckmen. Absolutely, they could uh, they could have a big year, and look, if everything goes right for West Coast, they could um, they could fight into the finals. At the I, same I think time, Will Minson. Last year's all Australia Absolutely, rough and, Absolutely. Rough and look, the stuff. dogs are on the up. There's no doubt about it. They, um, mm. I think they won seven or eight games last year, and uh, if they can do that again this year, or even better, it they'll go. Uh, they'll be not far off uh, a bit of success. Stuart Cramery comes into their forward line. Mm. Marcus Bondempelli is going to be a player as well. They're uh, they uh, pick five in the in the draft this year, I believe. And look, they they got a few good players, so the bull, the bullies will be going up again. But I can't see them winning this uh, over there. Uh, in Perth, but um, yeah, so that's that's the round, that's round one, guys. Footy's back. We're all very excited. All right. Uh, hope your tipping goes well this week. Remember, super coaches choose wisely, and uh, we'll be back next week, the week after, uh, for round two. Keep tuning in. 3SSR TV.